Oh, game of friends. So we've got uh, we've got our totals here, and like I gave you a little bit of a hint. You can check over here and make sure that they match all the cells down here. They do. They're fantastic. Uh, a couple things just to chat about order of operations wise. Um, I want you to look at some of these formulas besides Fisher person number zero, which you already looked at. Like for example, Fisher person number one, the bull trouter, five candy people a spool of fluorocarbon tippet in three liters. Please notice the formula. It's five times C3 plus H3 plus three, three times J3. When you do that formula, you do not go left to right. And here's a very simple reason why. The unit on C3, H3, and J3 are dollars. If you tried to go left to right, you would do five times six dollars which would be thirty dollars no problem there thirty dollars plus 24.95 which again you'd be dollars plus dollars that's not a problem then you'd add the number three which is not dollars it doesn't even have a dollar sign there it's just three well you can't add three to dollars that doesn't make any sense so unit wise it doesn't make sense to go left to right Mathematics wise, it also doesn't make sense because you're going to end up getting a number that's way, way too big if you were to ignore the units and just go left to right. For example, here, let's do it just to, just to drive the point home for you. So let's ignore the units and just not that you should ignore units. Trust me, units are one of the most important parts of this course. But just for sake of math, to just show you what happens, let's do uh, five times six, which gives you 30. And then let's take, so I'm going left to right now, 30 plus the number in cell H, which is 24.95, okay? And now again, we're ignoring the dollar signs. We're simply gonna call that 54.95, and then we're gonna add three to that to get 57.95, and then we're gonna take 57.95 and multiply it by what's in J3, which is 5.25, and the number we get is 304. 0.2375, which as you can clearly see is nowhere near $70.70. And that's because order of operations says the multiplications in the operation have to happen first. So if you actually put this entire uh, problem, I'm going to take it out of sheets and put it into Google. Let's do the entire thing in Google. So we're going to do five times, and I'm going to put the units on too. I'm going to put five times six dollars plus $24.95 plus three times $5.25. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter on that and check out what it shows you. It get, First of all, it gives us the correct number, $70.70, just like we saw. But also, you see the parentheses up there? Google is inserting the parentheses because it knows those have to happen first. Multiplications happen before additions. Multiplications and divisions, if you have divisions, we'll see some of those in a second when we do the baseball stats. So multiplications and divisions happen before any adding or subtracting. So it works because of a unit reason, and it also works because this is the order we have settled on mathematically. This way we all use the same series of rules. Okay, beautiful. So there's a, remember, I don't use the acronym. You probably remember. I just kind of like to view these things contextually. And this is one of the ways. All right. So now we are going to add sales tax. And I think we're using Cali's tax of 7.5%. And then we're going to do a total cost plus tax. I think that's what I had you type in there. Okay, so the sales tax, this is going to be a nice formula that we can drag down when we're done. We're going to take the total and we are going to multiply it by 0.075. That is 7.5% as a decimal. So that is going to be $1.76. And if you're feeling saucy, you can drag that all the way down. And those are the sales taxes for each of the subtotals. Please notice the more you spend, the more tax you pay, which hopefully makes sense. You're paying 7.5% of what you purchased. And then the total cost is just going to be the total plus the tax. And there you go, 25, 21. That's going to be the 2345 plus 176. $76 even is going to be those two added together and so forth and so on and so forth. Take a look at that formula again. I went a little bit quick. I apologize. Hopefully it's fairly straightforward. You're just adding two things together. All right. Read. We're almost done with Fly Fisher's Place. Before we move on to baseball, read a little bit 